Hi and welcome to day 20 of my 112 day long winter grind set program. Today my, my younger brother joined me once again and while he wasn't on camera the entire time he joined me on every single exercise. The only difference was that he didn't do the knuckle push ups on the wooden floor since that is an acquired taste in terms of pain. Anyways, I got the free reps and handstand push-ups today, and starting on Monday, so uh, one more workout of this, and then I'll be doing four reps on the handstand push-ups, which that's going to be a big jump. That will really test my strength for sure. Um, since I'm already at peak overhead pressing strength of my entire life when it comes to absolute load, uh, I've been able to overhead press 65 kilos three times uh, during the last 24 hours just for the hell of it, just grabbing 65 kilos, sitting down on the bench and doing it without a warm-up. I've done that three times. Uh, and that's my lifetime PR, by the way. Uh, I certain, certainly couldn't do that with 100 kilos right now. But that really proves that my overhead pressing strength is absolutely amazing. Uh, and I'm just at three reps per day on the handstand push-ups right now. Uh, imagine what I'll be able to do uh, if I can get to 10 reps on the handstand push-ups. I'll probably be overhead pressing 80 kilos plus. At least 80, that's the plan. And then the plan is also to bench 120 uh, at the end of this training cycle. And that will be helped by these knuckle push-ups instead, which these are challenging. I'm doing a very, very, very proper deep range of motion. I'm doing them on a daily basis. Both of those factors really add a lot more fatigue than normal push-ups, you know, every other day or something along those lines. In addition to the fact that I'm doing handstand push-ups before, when I get to 10 reps on the handstand push-ups, that will mean that I'll be doing these 40 reps pre-exhausted. So the pressing strength is coming along. The, the program will only get, you know, worse or better, depending on how you look at it, and more and more aggressive, increasingly aggressive. Uh, as for the sternum pull-ups, I'll be adding a rep there shortly. And uh, the only thing that's kind of going a bit shittily, shittily um, what is it? Probably the deadlift, to be honest. These pistol squats are doing okay. You know, it's, it's kind of an uncomfortable exercise. Since I'm jumping rope every day, my calves get kind of stiff. Uh, and then I have to do, um, you know, seven reps on this per leg. But it's mainly a balanced movement anyway. Um, although during the last, you know, three or four reps, you kind of really feel your glutes, even your hamstring in stabilization uh, and your quads. So I really believe in these as an exercise and I do believe that when I hit 20 reps per leg on these my quads will be completely you know unrecognizable compared to what they've been obviously for you guys they'll look pretty much the same but to me and people who see me in real life uh, there will be a noticeable difference it's kind of hard to see over the camera obviously um, you know an inch of growth uh, in the leg probably isn't going to be visible uh, from several meters away with a small phone camera but the strength difference will, you know, show itself in size. And since I'm doing all this leg work, all this back work, um, you know, all, all the weight will be added to my handstand push-up, for example. So when I get stronger on one exercise, all other exercises will get stronger completely automatically. Like when I get stronger on a pull-up, for example, uh, I'll add weight to my push-ups. Now, even more importantly, when I, when I am able to do more pull-ups, I'll have more upper back mass, which means I'll be a bit stronger in these deadlifts. If I can deadlift and pull up more, um, you know, if I can deadlift more, rather, I'll have stronger glutes and hamstrings. If I, can dead, if I have stronger glutes and hamstrings, uh, I can probably do a bit more pistol squats. If I can do stronger on all those three, I will be, you know, a couple kilos heavier, which means that my pressing will get stronger automatically since I weigh more when doing it. So it's completely synergistic. Uh, when it comes to the strength, and I'm also doing the jump rope every single day, seven minutes right now. Uh, on Monday, it will be eight minutes. Uh, and the goal there is to get to 20 minutes, which that will add a lot of cardiovascular conditioning to, you know, what I started with. Basically, five minutes was kind of difficult. Uh, I'm slowly getting acclimatized to seven. It's it's not easy. It is more difficult than five. Um, but I do believe that when I continue this journey... Um, I'll slowly, you know, get to 10, 11, 12, 13, all the way up to 20. It'll take a while. It'll take a lot of work. This program isn't fun. It's kind of boring. It's kind of hard. Um, it's not stressful yet. Like, I'm not scared of, the, of doing the exercises, but this is a difficult program to follow for sure. However, 
um, I believe that the results will be very, very much worth it. And on Monday, you guys will have something interesting to watch because I'll be doing uh, lifetime PR reps on the sterner pull-ups as well as doing four uh, reps on the handstand push-ups, which my record there is five reps. So we're finally getting somewhere, guys. Strength is being built. Other than that, I don't have much more to say. Um, it's just the fact that I'm really strong right now. I got a good night's sleep, and it was really notable. Uh, day and night difference from, from uh, you know, from yesterday evening, literally. So I will see you guys tomorrow. If you're wondering why I'm jumping so close to the camera, Charlie just skipped a YouTube ad there behind me. Uh, and I'm doing extra double jumps to compensate for failing. That's all I have to t say on today. Goodbye.